Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. It's a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, sir, please don't make this decision. I'm begging. We're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, oh my God, on, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you doing that? You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. Now, have your name and batch number, please. It's Captain Happy. God damn it. I also want to take a few seconds to thank my, uh, my paying subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. It's helping me to keep the channel growing and producing great content. Thank you so much for your contributions. It means so much to me. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be traveling to Allentown, Pennsylvania. That is correct. Allentown, Pennsylvania. Where we're going to be meeting a new, newer frauditor. Where she's going to be frauditing a courthouse. Gets told to leave. And then, well, as Dr. Dave called it, she gets arrested. Her first arrest. And it is hilarious. She's sitting in jail crying about it. And then she does a, a short video later on, which gets deleted. And she's crying on the live video. I'm sorry, the, the short video. She's crying like a baby about it. Not really expecting to be arrested. It. it it's just a, oh my God, it really is. It, it's just, it's just a disaster. If you're going to cry because you got arrested, then you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. You know you're going to be arrested because you're not supposed to record in a courthouse. But anyways, enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? This is Vico Radio and I'm at the Allentown Courthouse. I thought I would uh, get some pictures of these cars first. Oh, there's people in there. Maybe somebody could help me out with this. What is the purpose of filming inside of a police car? I just, I just don't understand it. What is the purpose? Why do you want to film inside of it? What are you going to see? I mean, film inside of your own car. I mean, there's really not much of a difference except for your car doesn't have the police equipment like their cars do. It, it just does. I don't, I don't get it. Why? What is the purpose of it? Ooh, a state trooper. Yikes. <laughs> I would not want that running into me. <laughs> no, thank you. A few moments later. I let's get into the courthouse. These dudes are probably undercover. Yep. He's trying to be all cool. I know you're a cop, dude. I know you're a cop. Yep, you came out to watch me. Can you blame them for wanting to check on their vehicles to make sure you're not doing nothing to them? In today's society, I mean, can you can you honestly trust anybody? I mean, you're going to have some psycho or some idiot out there that's going to cut their brake lines, scratch their car, plant something that I don't want to say on YouTube because of YouTube terms, but they could do something that cause harm or serious injury to somebody. It's just today's society. Everybody's whacked out pretty much. It's it's sad to say that, but nobody cares for each other. There's no respect for anybody anymore. It's 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 disgusting. It really is. Peace. Right. I think this is it. I think this is from the building finally. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm at the back. Oh for God's sakes, where is it? <laughs> All right, this is the courthouse. She sounds like an airhead, and these frauditors claim they're investigative journalists. Well, why didn't she do her job and investigate where the front door is, the entrance to the courthouse is, before she got there? I mean, she could have used Google Earth 
and went to Street View and went around the building and say, oh, there's the front the front entrance. There's the lobby. Let's go in that way. These these frauditors are so stupid. That's why they don't have any jobs, and they have to lead a life of frauditing because they can't get a legitimate job. Head north on North Penn Street toward West Court Street, then turn left onto West Court Street. No, I can turn my maps off now. Boy, she is such a stupid frauditor, isn't she? She went to the city hall building instead of uh, the courthouse. Like you couldn't, you couldn't see the signs that said courthouse or city hall on the building. You, oh my oh God, I'm just shaking. I really am. I'm just shaking my head in, in just disbelief on how stupid these frauditors are. No wonder why they can't do nothing else. They're they're not smart enough and they're not competent enough to do any a real job. They really are not. I I just don't get it. But anyways, let's cut to the courthouse scene. Trust me, you don't want to see my face. I'm a mess. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Nice uh, blue line t-shirt on, dude. The guy was nice enough to hold the door for her, and she repays him back by being angered towards him. I mean, like, come on. I mean, nice blue line flag, dude. But what kind of an idiot is she? And she's talking about, oh, you don't want to see my face? Well, I'll show you a picture of her face, and you guys could see it, because I could, I do agree with her. Nobody wants to see her. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Oh, I guess I have to come over here. Excuse me? Are you recording? Yes. You cannot record in this building. Oh, yes, I can. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, she's calling a supervisor. We didn't even get in yet. <laughs> she better be very careful recording in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a two-party consent state. And if she doesn't get uh, permission from the other party, she could be charged with wiretapping, just like, uh, what's his name, the angry vet did in the Maryland uh, Veterans Hospital. He was recording without permission, and they charged him with wiretapping. Hi. Take your recorder outside, okay? Why? There's Because there's actually signs all over the place that you can't record in the government buildings here. According to what law, ma'am? Um, I'll go find it for you. That'd be great. Sure, but you're going to step outside first, and then I'm going to find it for you. No, I'm not going to step outside. I'm going to stay right here. Well, then you're going to stop recording. No, I won't. This is a constitutionally protected activity, ma'am. I just did Doylestown Courthouse, my dear. They didn't give me a problem at security. I'm not your dear. What's that? I'm not your dear. I'm Lieutenant Bob. Okay. Well, I guess you need to learn the law and remember that constitution you swore an oath to. This lady did learn the law. She went to school to become a police officer. And yeah, she did have to learn it. She had to take tests and she had to pass it. They just don't throw a badge and gun at you like these frauders think they do. You know, and where do these frauders get a law degree from? Where did she get it from? Oh, yeah, she watched San Joaquin Valley, Denver Metro Audit, Long Island Audit, and that's where she got her law, uh, law degree from, I bet you. You know, I don't understand it. When do they lose it? They remember their oath when they get out of the academy, and they swear an oath to uphold the Constitution and our rights. So when, do, how many years does it take for them to stop caring? All right, just like these officers in the background, and myself personally, I don't want to. I don't want to hear the, this lady just keep babbling on and babbling on over and over again. So we're gonna fast forward it to when the officer arrives or the supervisor arrives, I should say. Oh, let's see if. Oh, nope, they're employee. They walk right in. They could have a gun. They could have mace. They could have who knows what. But it's okay. Just walk right in. All right. I just wanted to show you that little bit with the lady walking in, the employee walking in, and her crying about the employee walking right through. Well, I have to disagree with the idiot frauditor. I mean, most of, the, most of the time, the employees are not going to cause trouble like these frauditors. You know, they have a job to do. They're not going to do something stupid to risk their job. Okay, let's see what they decided and yeah, figured so out between five cops. Yeah, are you going to stop? Pardon me? Are you going to stop recording? Absolutely not. Okay, so if you're not going to stop recording, you're going to be detained and you're going to be charged uh, by the county detectives. With what? For recording in a courthouse in a government building. 
I'm not in a courtroom. We're not going to stand here and I argue can, with you. Ma'am, you're not even trying to have, I'm a human being, so are you. You're a public servant, you work for us. We asked you multiple times the public is the boss of you, you're not the boss of me. We asked you multiple times to turn it off. Stay hands behind your back, ma'am. We asked you multiple times. I cannot stand that nonsense when these frauditors say, you're a public servant, you work for me, I'm your boss. No, you're not their boss. You're a nobody to them. Yes, taxpayers pay their salary. Yes, I do agree with you on that one. But you don't pay a huge portion of their salary. The What little you guys pay into their salary is pocket change to them. And anyways, let, let's see her in jail. She She's allowed her phone, so she decides to record in jail. And yes, she is crying like a little baby. If she is crying right now, just on her first arrest, can you imagine how she's going to act with the next arrest and the rest after that? She's not a very good frauder. She's not going to last that long. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Pay attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels, troll. You know, that's brilliant. What do you know?